Oh man. They just landed his face on the car, man. What's going on, everybody? Got a disturbing one for you today. What you just watched was a man that got his head slammed against the hood of a police car so hard it took him off his feet. You know, you would think this guy had committed a serious crime when, in fact, the only thing he did was refuse to give ID when being questioned by the police, which under Texas Penal Code 3802, he does not have to give ID unless he's lawfully under arrest. He stood for his rights, and the Dallas police still arrested him. This is a good example of police brutality. And I had spoke with the man's family off camera. They will be getting him out and possibly filing a lawsuit in this matter. But here's a video, guys. Viewer discretion is advised. This is a violent arrest, and it's unconstitutional arrest. So without further ado, here's the video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm good. Still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to help you. Help you, right? Do you think the officer is going to be there? Yeah, I'm going to help you. Yeah, I'm going to help you. Yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm going to cut the video there for a second, guys. The reason the cops got called down there was for a burglary. This guy lives at the residence, and they're more worried about getting his ID and violating his rights than actually investigating the crime that allegedly happened. He, he don't have to give ID unless he's lawfully under arrest, uh, 3802, penal code. Texas Penal Code 3802, you don't have to give ID unless you're lawfully under arrest. I said Texas Penal Code 3802, you don't have to give ID unless you're lawfully under arrest. He is. He is under arrest. Well, if he's under arrest, then. Yeah, what happened is this. A lady, uh, somebody was trying to break into this lady's house. And she called okay. the police and the officer's down here. And he's here. He's the only one here. So the officer's detained him. Okay. He's high and drinking. Uh, we don't have a problem writing him a citation, releasing him to a, a sober person. But I think he's been drinking too. So he, he's... We, I, I can't say he was trying. He was the one trying to break into her house because I wasn't here. And I didn't see her. I didn't see him do it. But 
It's a legitimate reason. I, I, get, I, get what, I get what you're saying. Yeah, if somebody's trying to break into your house and call the police, it's this time of night, the officer show up, and there he is by your house, they're going to stop the guy. Yeah. So that, that's well, what's going on. Well, but, uh, he's already under arrest. and yeah. I'm just going by the law. You know, oh, no, 3802, no, 3802 yeah, no, says you don't I'm have listen, to. My friend, I, I, I'm with looks you. like they're going hands-on with him. Yeah. So he just, yeah. Yeah. it looks like he's under Did arrest. You know, I'm with you. I, I fully support what you're doing and what you're saying. Uh, I'm not going to tolerate anybody uh, violating you. Stop. Well, I, Stop. I don't, don't argue. Just put him in the car. Now, the sergeant just said that he won't tolerate them violating people's rights. But you'll see later in the video, he does nothing when the guy's brutalized. And the whole point of them arresting him was based on him not wanting to give his ID because he lived there and did nothing wrong. So the sergeant's not really living up to his own standards. But here's the rest of the video, guys. It's about to get interesting. Hey man, just comply, dude. Well, if he's already under arrest, the only thing you can do is just surrender yourself. You can't really get in a boxing match. I just them, I said, look, if, if you feel somebody did something wrong to you, you can always complain, but you can't resist. You can't. What would his primary charge be? Public intoxication. Oh, okay. That's all. Yeah, but really, honestly, I think if he wasn't high, I probably would have talked. Yeah, be gentle with him. Don't hurt him. So his pants are about to fall down. Ma'am, ma'am, back, back off from the officer a little bit. There you go. Yeah, just take a step back from the officer. There you go. So what about the guy that apparently broke into the house? You guys still going to investigate that? Or? Yeah, this is part of it. He's the only person in the area, so he was stopped, and the officer was trying to talk to him, but all he did was argue well, he could have denied uh, any questioning. He could have said, "I don't." Uh, yes, ma'am. I don't consent to any okay, questions. So what, what's the sure. Yes, of course you can. Yeah. Honestly, I'd, I'd let him go. What's the problem? But you know, after public intoxication. Okay, coming from walking from my house to the car, he, he's out and here. just running up on him right. for no reason. Right. Well, yeah, it wasn't for no reason. Uh, there was a reason why the officer stopped to talk. And this gentleman is right. He's not saying nothing. He's not going to identify himself. But, he doesn't. But, uh, and I can't make him do that. No, I'm not asking He you has to. his right to. No, listen, nobody's going to hurt but him. But he. Yeah. Like the sergeant said, nobody's going to hurt him, but he's about to get his head slammed into a police car. Give me a break. These guys lie their asses off. Not the okay, I got, I'm a he's witness. Not, he, my son is a witness. Okay. He's been right there in his house. He ain't did nothing wrong. Right, the officer's been. I told him to drive me to the store because I've been drinking. Okay. He hasn't well, been doing anything but in their sleep. Right. Well, I mean, it looks like a bad arrest, arrest because. It's not. It's not. <laughs> with the public intoxication thing, yeah. what probable cause are you guys going based on to assume that he's intoxicated? Have now, you been know, around intoxicated people? Yeah, I mean, I've worked in bars basically my whole life. So if you were able to get close to him. Uh, you can smell the alcohol on him. Uh, you, you can so see his. So for him walking to, from, but I think it's more than just alcohol. To, to, to by the way, he got to go to jail. Based for on his eyes, and th this is just from. So when the officers him. approached him, he started answering the questions. Or he said, "I don't consent to any conversations." Uh, and they he, said he, he was my, detained. My, my understanding, I got uh, here right after the initial contact was made. My understanding no is that uh, he started becoming argumentative with the officers. That's and what they I know. picked he up on the fact that he had been drinking. So. So that's another he can make a complaint. Floor. He could fight this by all means. Yeah, he could. Yeah. And whenever the, he was detained for the alleged robbery or the burglary, they were trying to get his ID, and he's like, I refuse to give the ID. And now that's why he was in handcuffs now. No, not at all. No. He, he's intoxicated, public intoxication. But the problem is... So he was detained never, based on public intoxication. There, there was multiple things happening at the same time. No, it wasn't no multiple yeah. nothing, sir. You was not even out here. Yeah. You did not see what was going on. When they so, pulled up, they immediately ran up on him, sir. And, and well, treated him like he was a son. I'll kid. review the body one thing. The, the initial so contact was... was so hard, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. Don't, don't, don't hurt him. They just slammed his face on the car, man. They just slammed my fucking face 
your knee. That's brutality. Now that was uncalled for. Don't resist. Okay. I ain't resisting. Okay. Just calm down. I just got mad at the whole ass. He want to slam me. Calm Fuck down. him. They should have already put him in the car. Take it out, bro. I see it in her. I have to search him so he doesn't have a weapon or anything like that. Man, yeah. Come on, Sheriff. Come on, now. Yeah, please. I mean, it ain't going to look good. What are you doing, bro? Look, look at him. Look oh. at him. Oh. Pick him. I think I've been picked up off his feet. Okay, then. Damn. This is the big thing. Everything is being recorded. Hey, acting like some hoes. Especially him. Bro. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's, it's, I'm getting it by myself, bro. The whole public now, intoxication thing. Like this, yeah. bro. I'm going to get in there, bro. Even if he was. Just hey, Sarah, you know this is wrong, bro. Get in the field. Get in there for what? I'm not just tell I didn't get nothing. Listen, you're tell that lady to goddamn me come down here. That damn burglar in charge. For what? You're not being charged with burglary. I'm not being charged with nothing. You're not being charged with burglary. Just what, what I'm being charged with this, sir? Public intoxication. Public intoxication. I'm, from from my I'm not intoxicated. Yeah, he's outside. No, nah, because he's outside. 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 It's a false ass charge. I'm going to get everybody to say, don't worry about it. We can discuss this later. Right now, just get in the car. They know this whole ass shit, bro. Now you want her to go inside. But goddamn me, you said it was two people. What other person they did? Now the whole slamming his face on the thing That's not going to look good Because it went from A simple public intoxication To the guy going to jail Was there anything you guys could have done To resolve that matter Without the guy going to jail Well as you can see he's very angry very aggressive. He thought he was going to jail for burglary that he didn't, that he I, says I think, he didn't commit. I, I think if he wasn't intoxicated, he would have heard public intoxication, which we told him multiple times. He's, uh, and you know, there's two sides to every story. He oh, could yeah, be, yeah, he yeah, could yeah, be intoxicated. Yeah. Sure. At the same time, he could not be. I, and you know, from my experience, uh, I disagree. But that's okay, though. That, that's okay. That, that's what a courtroom is for. That's. That's what the judge is for, right? I mean, what is it, a Class C misdemeanor? Yes. Sir. He might get released. Well, did they release you in Dallas yeah. County on yeah. Class C? Yeah. Yeah, he just needs to sober up a little bit. That's all. He just needs to sober up. That's all. Are you kidding me? That man was just brutalized and unlawfully arrested in front of his own family. But. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the officers that were responsible for it. They gave me their names and their badge numbers. And I'm going to leave uh, the police department's information in the description. Hey, what's y'all's uh, names and badge numbers real quick? What's your name and your badge number? 12263. Okay, I I'm going to be looking into this arrest. It didn't seem like it was legitimate. Under 3802, you don't have to identify unless you're lawfully under arrest. Yeah, that guy was not under arrest. He didn't have to give his ID. Yeah, that was fucked up. It is fucked up. Nigga, take them glasses off, bro. Yeah, that was some bullshit.